You don't get it, do you? I'm not a pawn. I'm a soldier. Great. I die before I sell out the cause. Then die. You have to. Stop, Dent. Okay, I will. I. Oh no, he's dead. Come on. Drop the damn coin. Without the coin, I can't. I. I can't. Make your own call. Your administrative access to Wayne Enterprises should have been reinstated by now, along with your title of CEO. Finally. See what Oswald was doing while he sat in my chair. Good to be back on the payroll, that's for sure. Master Cobblepot's sense of humor hasn't changed much since you were boys. Can we just see what he was doing? I love how Oswald put in little penguin icons on the folders, like, so penguin cute. Penguin was tapping into surveillance systems across Gotham. Any building using Wayne Tech security could be spied on from the CEO's office. How is that any different than the back door into the Wayne network that he uncovered? That's not... unless... Hold on. Aha! Uh -huh. Interesting. A new folder has appeared. But let's take a look at the others before. Oswald was, was trying to buy an island. What on earth for? Looks like he was using his new legal control of Carmine Falcone's assets and likeness to brand the place. Like it's some kind of tourist attraction. He was going to call it Falcone Island. How cute. We need to figure out Lady Arkham's next move. Of course. All right. Let's see how much of a damage she took on the financial side. Oh, Oswald certainly wasn't very frugal with my money. You have a few yachts to return, it appears. Also explains how the children of Arkham had a seemingly endless supply of guns. Oswald was using Wayne money to arm them. Bastard. Oswald altered several public records using the Wayne network. Damn, okay. Let me see what he did with his record. Well, no surprise here, Oswald wiped away any trace of his criminal records. His background is completely fabricated. Nice. He was enrolled at Cambridge? Ridiculous. <laughs> Calm down, Alfred. I'm sure the board realizes by now that they were fooled. And let's see what he did with Vicky Vale. All mention of her birth name, Victoria Arkham, is completely gone. Wait, 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 what's this? He also erased something from Vicky's research at the Gazette. I can't tell what was removed from here, but Wayne Tech leaves a trace when it alters data. One the bad computer can decode. What nice. is it Miss Vale wanted to hide? All right, let's see what my old friend said about me. I bet some Oswald bullshit. Oswald manipulated my records as well. It would appear your degree was in sociology. And my medical records. There are some, well, but colorful diseases. Bastard. Annoying, <laughs> but not hard to fix. Yeah, yeah, yeah. That's funny. Uh, oh, <laughs> that's better. All right, let me check out these last two right well actually I already did chicken records so last one would be security what do we have here they did more than just look at these schematics every building in Gotham with the Wayne Tech security system can be accessed from here and remotely controlled that's Oswald dangerous was the brawn Vicky is the brains so let's check her file she may have left clues about what she was using Oswald's access for Let me see, I mean, I did check everything, so it's not like I left anything untraced. Um, let me, ooh, Gotham P, let me see. Dozens fear dead in massive police offense. 
Late last night, downtown Gotham City shook from a massive firebomb detonated by Mayor Harvey Dent's Special Enforcement Unit as part of an assault on a Children of Alcum stronghold. At least 30 are feared dead as emergency crews use heavy equipment to dig for survivors in the rubble. The bomb also started a four-alarm fire that fire crews have yet to fully control. Damn, Harvey! You're a bastard for doing that. According to Gotham City Police, Mayor Dent acted on his own authority when he ordered the attack. In fact, the GCPD only became aware of the blast when the 911 switchboard was overloaded with calls. Police Commissioner Grogan has yet to make a public statement. That's because he's dead. Although anonymous sources says he intends to speak out against the mayor at an internal police event later today. The sound of the explosion was heard up to three miles away and residents reported broken windows up to 10 blocks away from the blast. I hope y'all have house insurance for that. Mayor Dent seizes Wayne Estate. In a shocking televised announcement, Mayor Harvey Dent announced a civil seizure of the Wayne Mayor and Estate. According to Dent, the seizure is necessary to help fund continued police actions against the children of Alcum while also serving as a punitive measure against the Wayne family. Virtually every legal consultant contacted by the Gazette agrees that the mayor has no authority to take such unilateral measures, but experts disagree on how to stop the mayor. That's because they're afraid of being shot or take over, that's why. In recent weeks, scandal has surrounded the Wayne family with evidence and allegations ranging from fraud and embezzlement, all the way to kidnapping and perhaps even murder. Criminal and civil cases were expected to last years into the future, but according to Dent, the needs of Gotham can't wait for the slow wheels of justice right now. That is so sad. So sad. Wayne Enterprises CEO Copperpot arrested. Wayne Enterprises CEO Oswald Copperpot was arrested by Gotham City Police after an altercation with the vigilante Batman at the Wayne Building in downtown Gotham City. According to Wayne Insiders, Copperpot had allegedly been using company resources to assist a terrorist group known as the Children of Arkham. Children of Arkham activity apparently led Batman to Wayne Enterprises, where Copperpot's complicity was revealed. Copperpot is being treated at Gotham General, where he remains under arrest. Ha 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 ha. This morning, Wayne Enterprises released a statement to the press announcing that Copperpot have been sacked by unanimous vote of the Wayne Board of Directors. It is widely believed that the board at Wayne Enterprises originally named Copperpot CEO as a move to salvage the public relations disaster, following allegations of corruption against previous CEO and Gotham billionaire Bruce Wayne. Ha 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 ha. GCPD commissioner murdered by mayor's enforcers. You know, this got me sad, even though he was a little bit of an asshole. I was actually sad the way he died. In the latest scandal to rock Gotham City, Mayor Harvey Dent's enforcers, enforcers fatally shot Police Commissioner Grogan. According to reports, members of the mayor's enforcement unit attempted to arrest the commissioner following his demand for the mayor's resignation. Gotham City police intervened in the arrest, leading to a massive shootout between police and enforcers. Commissioner Grogan was fatally shot and at least a dozen hop dozen others were hospitalized. That whole thing was just unnecessary to be honest. And this event definitely led to the public not wanting to be on Harvey's side. Until recently, Commissioner Grogan had refused to commit on Mayor Dent's militarization of the security forces. However, when Dent ordered the massive firebombing of a commercial building that led to the deaths of more than 30 innocent people, Grogan spoke out, calling Dent a murderer and a terrorist. Nice, I agree. I totally agree. Alright, wow, there's a lot of updates here. Let me see, let me take a look at this, this one. I mean... Honestly, I did read all of them earlier in a couple of episodes back, so I'm not going to read all of them, but I'm just going to pretend to go through them, just 
so the game thinks I actually read through. And Selena, you are so mean for leaving, but you know what? I hope you're doing well. Renee, I hope you're doing well too. I'm glad you're in jail. Actually, never mind, I forgot he died. And you, I'ma get you. I'ma get you. And as for Gordon, I... You know what? He should become lieutenant. Lucius Fox, he needs a raise. Late Children of Arkham leader? We already know that's Vicky. The Children of Arkham, they're losers for following. John Doe? Let me see. My time in Arkham was short, but one patient in particular left a big impression on me. I didn't catch his name, but I won't ever forget his face. Or his laugh. He's like some kind of creepy circus clown. However, he did provide invaluable help in tracking down Vicky and her missing drug stash. For that, I agreed to grant him a favor. What's one favor to a man who's never seen the outside of Arkham Asylum? Oh well. Alright, so let me see. Let me see something. I mean, I've did everything, right? Hold on. Maybe there's something I can look over here again? Now that we know how Oswald manipulated Vicky's records, the back computer should be able to... There. No more holes. Bingo! Alright, let's see. She was looking into Arkham patients. Reviewing records, checking submissions, prior histories. She was trying to figure out who was actually sick and who was committed because of Hill, Falcone, and my father. Damn, okay. I mean, she had the pure intentions, intentions just horribly wrong. Execution. Vicky was digging deep. Gotham City records, freedom of information requests, post to conspiracy forums. All to find. It's a list. Gotham buildings that use Wayne Tech security systems. It's a list of targets. City Hall, Arkham Asylum, GCPD headquarters, Gotham First National. It's almost every landmark in the city. We're on to something. Vicky wants to bypass the security at a Gotham landmark. But without a man inside Wayne Enterprises, she can't unlock that door remotely. She'll have to get her hands dirty. And when she does, we'll find her. Speaking of... Is it Lady Arkham? No, it's one of Lucius's prototypes. On the move. What? But Lucius locked everything away. Well, he needed a better lock. Selena. She stole from you? After we opened our doors to her, after all that you two... Alfred. Mm, no, I no, no, know, no, no, Bruce, no, no. but... Why would she do this? Is she that cold-hearted? She must have her reasons. Well, I'm sure she does. Computer visual. The prototype she stole. It's an electronic skeleton key. With it, you could bypass any security system made by Wayne Tech. That key is far too dangerous in Miss Kyle's hands. So let's especially take it away from with her. Lady Arkham still at large. Get the car ready, Alfred. And Alfred, let Lucius know what's happened. I'm going to get some answers from Selena. In my sexy, expensive car. Vroom vroom. You know, it's nice to see you again. I thought you actually Damn left. It. Yeah. Damn hey, it is Bruce. right. I hey, wasn't Selena. expecting you. Thought I'd make it outside the city limits at least. You should know by now not to underestimate me. I thought you might be busy with, I don't know, saving the world. I'm flattered I rank so highly. But I know you're not here for me, are you? I don't blame you for wanting it back. Although, it only seems fair that I take something from you. You didn't give a second thought when you stole my claw. Mm. 
At least I had the decency to steal from you when you weren't in the next room. <sighs> I don't know what I was thinking, okay? That was wrong. Well, your hindsight's 2020. <laughs> I'm surprised you had a toy like this. No doubt Batman would use it for the good of Gotham, but the less noble options are so much more... exciting. Why really? should I give it back? So much potential. Just imagine what I'd be able to dig my claws into. A thief of your class doesn't need a device like that. It'd only be a crutch. <laughs> Says the man whose belt is an armory. Come on, Selena. Hand it over. Thank you. Catch. Thank you. I know you're just playing into my pride. But you're right. I don't need a crutch. <laughs> oh, come on. Don't pretend you're not impressed. As long cons go, this one was a beauty. Getting into Wayne Tech's lab took a lot more than cracking a safe. I had to get close to people. Your friend Harvey. Poor guy just wanted to fall in love so bad. After that, it didn't take very long to get my introduction to his BFF. <laughs> the great Bruce Wayne. Imagine my surprise when the rich playboy turned out to be Batman, Scourge of Gotham. So it was all just an act. Everything we've done together. A lie. That's how it started. And now it's over. Right. I'm getting out of here while the getting's good. Gotham's a house on fire, and I'm not gonna burn with it. If you were smart, you'd get out of here too. This town hates you. Hates your entire family. Just leave it all behind. Do something more... meaningful with those skills of yours. You don't need the money, but... But think of the fun. Someday, yeah. Maybe I will be able to leave Gotham. But for now, I am the only one who can save this city. So humble. Hmm. It'll be good to put some distance between us. After all, look at what happened to Harvey. It'd only be a matter of time before I crossed one of your lines. I'm not Harvey. Isn't that right? My copy of the Boy Scout Handbook is out of date. I'm bound to break some rule. Selena, I would never hurt you. Bruce, I... That's really sweet. But it brings us to the root of our problem, doesn't it? Which is? You're upset that I'm leaving. What'd you think? That one night of sex meant we were going steady? Is that what you really thought? Well, maybe it meant nothing to you, but what happened between us meant something to me. Ah, oh, Bruce. Didn't know you were the sensitive type. Just stop the show, Selena. Stop pretending nothing matters. <sighs> Look, Bruce. I'll admit that what you and I had... It wasn't terrible. But you were just another job. Damn. A more intriguing job than I was expecting. So that walk walk was good? It's still a job. Okay, and damn. That job's done. Damn. I'm done with you. Okay. It's not complicated. I'm not a good person. I'm certainly no hero, and I don't want to be. I'm a thief. That's all I am. All right, if you want to go, I told then you go. that from the start. I never pretended to be anything else. Stop. It's not true. I know there's more to you than that. You're just afraid to admit it. You'd like it if that were true, wouldn't you? Why would you even think that? I've made my feelings pretty clear. Why aren't you listening? You saved my life. You could have left me to die back in that warehouse, but you didn't. Someone who's only out for herself, who's just Wouldn't a thief, save wouldn't someone do that. else, exactly. Oh, yeah. Who would? A good person. That's who. A hero. And you think you're not, but you are, Selena. You, you think know, you don't deserve. After I found out you were do. Batman, I thought nothing else could surprise me. But you just keep on surprising me. Fuck it. 
One last goodbye. Something to remember me by. <laughs> I won't need any help remembering you. Oh shit! So that well, walk walk was. It's good, been huh? fun. Bye, Selena. Bye, bats. Lucius, I've got the key. Uh, hold on, Alfred's on the line. Hey, Alfred, I... Bruce! Lady Arkham! She's here! What? I, I tried to keep them out, but... Alfred? Alfred! Yo! Alfred! I swear to God, if she did anything to Alfred, it is all hands on deck. She'll catch every single one of these fingers, knees, heads, and toes. Oh my God. Oh my God. Lucius, it's Bruce. He's not here. <gasps> Damn it. Blood. I'm going to search for clues. Just tell me how I can help. Okay. Get over here as fast as you can. Please. I'm on my way. We're going to find him, Bruce. I know. Need to focus. Figure out what happened here. What happened to you, Al? All I know is, since the body is not here, he is still alive. And I'm going to keep on looking at that. He is still alive. A scuff mark. What could have caused this? And what's that? Furniture tossed around. Furniture scattered outwards from a single point. And then, of course, the fireplace. Ash everywhere. Blood. What did they do to you, Alfred? Oh, Lord. Question is, is it his blood or her blood? Who knows? Something big was thrown against this wall. Or someone. Either way, Alfred must have put up a damn good fight. Face was knocked over in the struggle. The fight left nothing untouched. And I could have sworn I saw something on the wall. Let me just walk on over here casually. Right? I knew it. How the hell? Alright, here's the thing. Fire, poker, fireplace? Yeah? There has to be some connection. Alfred grabbed the fireplace poker to fend off an attacker. But it was knocked away. Huh. So in that case, uh, vase. Wouldn't the vase? No, no connection. Okay. Well, what about? Damn, this is gonna get complicated. Yeah? Nothing? Come on. Is there anything else? Oh, wait. Hold on. Let me just cancel the link. Because we already have one. One so far. Uh, let me take a look at the rest here. How about... Ready? Scoff marks. And... Bookshelf? Obviously, there shouldn't. I don't think there is a connection. Lady no, Arkham not. must have used the concussion blast from her staff to try and stop Alfred. Okay, so there is a connection. Groovy. Alright, so I just love how the sad music is playing right now. Um, let me take a look at this one right here. blood pattern looks like it came off a high velocity hit which means ooh what's this the pool the pool okay I this pool cue something. was used as a weapon swung so hard it broke in half all right so here's my theory already the pool and the blood spatter there must be a connection right here alfred used the pool cue as a weapon broke it across his attacker's head. 
Damn, like a G. When that didn't stop him, he used the jagged end to stab him, spraying blood across the pool table. Yo, he a G for that. I need Alfred on my team. He's invited to my happened. barbecue. The children of Arkham broke in. Alfred barricaded himself inside the parlor. He had just enough time to grab a pool cue as a weapon before Lady Arkham blasted the doors open. Bitch. He broke it across one of their heads, then stabbed him to get away. Another assailant tackled Alfred, knocking over the vase. Alfred almost escaped, but then Lady Arkham entered the parlor, used her staff's concussion blast, scattering all the furniture in her path, throwing him against the wall by the fireplace. So Alfred grabs the nearest thing to use as a weapon to defend himself. But Lady Arkham deflected Alfred's attack, causing the poker to fly across the room and lodge into the wall. More blood on the mantle. He smashed his face into no, it. No, that's it. I am throwing hands at her right now. No one does that to Alfred. No one. Wait. I'm pissed. That picture doesn't belong there. The hell is that? Lady Arkham wanted me to find this. And there's something behind it, too. Alfred. The butler did it. Password reckoning. You the have no idea. The hell is that? Well, I'm here now, now, so... your butler, the man who raised you like his own son, will suffer in your place. But don't worry, you'll get him back eventually. Peace, my bloody peace. I am going to kill you, Alfred. Sir, God, bro. Oh my God. Vicky will pay for this. I'll make sure of that. No one must Look with at my what butler. she's doing to him. All right. Well, then let's get to work. Alfred keeps adjusting his glasses. The reflection. He's making sure I see the reflection in his glasses. <laughs> he knows the back computer can use multiple reflection angles to recreate the room that he's in. He is so And slick. I can view the virtual image using my cowl. Good thinking, Alfred. Let's go. Wait, 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 wait. I don't need this. No, 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 no. I'm gonna press this. Is there anything I can press? Yeah, right here. Okay, Lucius. Freeze frame on the first signal Alfred gives. Paint us a picture. Here we go. Professional grade camera. Probably came from the Gazette's office. Okay. He's wounded. Must be one of the thugs Alfred fought upstairs. And right here. Stairs leading up. Cement walls. We're in a basement. Alfred's trying to look at things that might give us a clue to where he's being held. Okay, looks like we've seen all there is to see in this frame. Let's move on to Alfred's next signal. You got it. Okay. Rogers Plumbing. A service company for the water heater. I can use their records to find home addresses for their clients. We're getting closer. Yeah, but we're not there yet. Alright, so besides that, what else can I see? Doesn't seem to be anything else here. Let's keep looking. Nothing else to see here. Moving on. Mason stamp. Only one Masonic Lodge in the city. Gotham City Fraternal Order of Stonemasons. So the house was built in 1945 by them. That's a big lead. Indeed. Oh. Lady Arkham. Keep searching. Jump to Alfred's next signal. You got it. Ooh, what's that? The basement window. What's that outside? Give me a second. They're by a bus stop. There we go. Okay, I think we have enough to pinpoint a location. Well, let's hope. 
Damn, his technology is that good. I'm impressed. All right, so bus stops. I can get the bus line from this, but no stop number. This will help pinpoint the neighborhood. Let's do build year. Okay, filtering for all homes built on that date. And then let's do basements. And lastly, repair lawns. These are all the homes serviced by this water heater company on the days and months listed. You are not going to believe this. What is it? Lady Arkham is back at the Vale House. What? Where she killed her foster parents. Oh my god. According to its records, it has a basement. Well, just in case she's expecting you. A new Batsu? What is that? Something I almost didn't get to finish because of Penguin. It's the most advanced version yet. <laughs> Lady Arkham will have no idea what I've got up these sleeves. And I'm ready. Well done, Lucius. You've been long overdue for an upgrade. This suit is beyond state of the art. Damn, I'm excited. I can't wait to whoop her ass. This wow, ends looking tonight. Good. Thank you for watching. This is Lover of Ladies, and I'll see you next week.